sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm so glad you're here. So for today's video, I'm pretty excited because I have my Ipsy Glam Bag X for May 2021. This box just launched in February. I've been opening boxes for four years, almost daily, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say that February box, that launch box was the very best beauty box I have ever opened. So my expectations for this one are pretty high. It's $55 every quarter. You do have to subscribe to the Ipsy Glam Bag, which is $12 a month in order to be able to get this quarterly. So $55 a month is going to give you seven to eight full-size products. The box is worth at least $350 and you get to customize three items in the box. So that's pretty exciting. It's always curated by um, someone different. The first box was curated by Patrick Ta. We got the most gorgeous Patrick Ta blush in the first one. I'm in love with that. Um, this one I, I thought was a little strange. Khloe Kardashian actually customized this. I, I don't mind the Kardashians. I know some people do. It's totally fine. I do think she's stunning though, so I'm interested to see what is going to be in here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, but before I do, I wanted to say thank you for clicking onto this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. If you're new, my name is Christy and welcome. Please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. If you like fashion or beauty or all kinds of unboxings, I am definitely your girl. All right, let's dive in. Y'all even painted my nails lavender to match the box. That's how excited I was. Y'all know I don't even really like the color purple. All right, so when you open it up, it just looks like this. All right, I'm gonna grab my glasses here. These are my granny glasses, I call them. They just came from Michael's. <laughs> They're really cheap, like $7.99 and then 40% off with your coupon. All right, so you get a little newspaper, which I think is really fun. There's a uh, Chloe on the front. And then all of the products that you could receive are in here. Now you're not gonna receive all of these. Your boxes are a little bit more customized to you. All right, so the first thing that I see in here, oh my gosh, this is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have never had an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette before. I know that's weird. I own so many palettes. Have I? I don't think I've had this one. And this is a popular one. It's kind of like a cult favorite. Ooh, it's pretty. It's kind of fluffy on the front. And then when you open it, oh, this is pretty. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Okay, so it does have a mirror here. And these are the colors stunning these are definitely my colors oh i love that i will definitely use all of this and that and there's a beautiful brush inside this is nice oh i'm excited this is beautiful primavera look at that color i love a good shimmer look at that one these colors are stunning let me look at the temp tempura that's a good all over your lid shade. These are pretty. Okay, so let's see how much that guy was. The last time we got a, I think it was a Huda Beauty. It was like a rose gold palette. I loved that one too. Um, this guy is a $45 value. And Courtney says, the pink shades are so major. I love how feminine they make me feel, okay? Now this is kind of strange because I got a second palette. Is this maybe a blush palette? It's the Violet Voss Windflower palette. Isn't that weird that I got two palettes inside? Let's see what it says about that. Um, hmm. Maybe this is one of the things that I customized. Hmm. I don't even see this item in my choices. So I can't read about it. But there it is. Isn't that weird that you don't, it doesn't say in the paper. This was not one of Chloe's picks, I guess. Let me do one more little peruse through. I wish they would give you a card rather than this whole paper. Um, all right. So I don't know the price of this. I'll look it up and put it um, on the screen for you. Okay. It's pretty, it's a pretty little packaging. It's more cardboard, this one. Violet Voss palettes to me are a little bit hit and miss. No, this is an eyeshadow palette. How weird is that? Okay, maybe I customized this and don't remember. All right, so it does again have a mirror. The colors are stunning. It's kind of the same tone though. It's got lots of rose gold and neutrals. Isn't that funny? 
Let's compare the two. Very, very similar. Like that color and that color are similar. I don't know. Okay, well, I will use both of them. I love a good eyeshadow palette. <laughs> All right, the next thing in here is by Pink Diamond. Oh, this is by Rodial. This is a cleansing balm. This is a nice brand. I just started using some of their products based off of a limited edition box I got. I think it was from Glossy Box. Um, this is $59. It says uh, cleansing, balm, uh, cleansing balms at night are an absolute must for heavy makeup. This one easily dissolves your glam with a luxe melting formula. Plus it's infused with vitamin E. It's thick. Like it's thick in here. I'm having to like push down. I just want to see... I guess a balm would be kind of thick. Like it's hard to even squeeze. Hold on. Is there a, this is weird. Y'all, I don't want it to like squirt out, but I can't even like, maybe there's a plastic wrap over this. Am I missing something? No. This is weird, it's like so hard. Is there, okay, I can't tell if there's a plastic wrap over it. Where's my scissors? Here, I'll just take this pencil. No, it's not. Like you can see it on the end of the pencil there. I know that's gross, but I just took a pencil in. It is not, y'all, it is not coming out. And the product is right there. Okay, this is strange for $59. I'm a little disappointed in this. Um, I don't know, it was just so hard. If there's a trick to this as I'm editing, I will let you know because I'll continue to play with this, but this is kind of disappointing. All right, um, the next item in here is by 111 Skin. I really like this brand. It is outrageously expensive. I think it's definitely a good brand, but I don't think it is as good as the price usually indicates. Um, this is a gold, rose gold radiance booster for $135, crazy. It says, this is Chloe's secret weapon for skin that looks lit from within. It contains rose water and niacinamide to brighten skin, hydrating hyaluronic acid to plump, and light reflecting gold to intensely illuminate your complexion. Okay, well now I wanna try everything after that Rodial balm. Pretty, I think I've actually gotten this in another box. I can't remember, let's see. Well, it's pretty. Okay. I'm sorry if you hear my son in the background. He's watching a Bruins game and he gets very, very um, heated. <laughs> this is pretty. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to, to tell. I can tell on my skin, but I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. Let me put it, let me put it on my arm and see if you can see it better. You see... Where is it? I can't, oh, it's right here. I don't think it's picking up. Maybe a little bit. It is pretty on the skin though. It's pretty. Kind of does give it a little glow. Can you see? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I'll have to play with that. This looks fab on so many bathroom counters and even better on my skin. Okay, I'm kind of like on the fence about that one. I see it. It's not gabam, but do I really want gabam? I don't know. I don't I don't want it to look like highlighter all over my face. So I'm gonna have to play with this one. Okay, the next item in here is by Tower 28, and this is in the color cashew. All right, this guy is a $14 value. It says this vegan and cruelty-free and derm-tested gloss is made with plant-based ingredients like apricot oil and raspberry seed oil to nourish dry lips and give them a glossy finish. So here's the color. I kind of wish it was a little more like pinky rose. This seems kind of dark. Mm, it is pretty. It's not as dark as you think. Yeah, it just gives you that like wash of color. So it's not quite as dark on the lips as it is. And that's with me going over it a couple of times. It doesn't look really dark, it's deceiving. Mm, this feels like slick and really nice. Like not thick and not goopy. I like thick and goopy. <laughs> but if you don't, 
this is nice. It feels really, really good. It doesn't make your lips tingle or burn or anything. I found like some lip glosses do that even if they don't have like a plumping effect. So that's nice. Okay. The next item in here is a Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen. And this is in the color caramel or caramel, whatever you say. This is a $22 value. I don't have much Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just don't. Okay. I know it's not a, it's not like an eyeliner, but that's kind of the color. I think that's going to be good for me. It does have a little bit of a reddish blonde tent to it. I think that's going to be good for my brows actually. Okay. I'm happy for that. $22. All right. Then we got the Dr. Brandt vacuum cleaner. No more pores, pore clarifying mask. I love Dr. Brandt. I have their pore derm abrasion in my um, shower right now. Okay, this is another thing that they don't show. So I guess they don't give you everything in the in the list, but isn't that weird? That not everything is in the little booklet that you could get. Okay, like that. I still like to know the prices though, don't you? Okay, the next thing in here is a Kush mascara. <clears throat> I have fallen in love with milk products, all of their makeup. I haven't found anything that I don't like. This is their high volume extreme. Right now I'm using their uh, waterproof mascara. It's so, so good. Have I used this one? Let me see the packaging. I have not tried this one. I tried the one in the black tube and the one in the blue tube, but not in the silver. Okay, so let's look at the wand of this one. Oh, it's nice. It's a nice big wand. It actually smells different from regular mascara, but like it almost has a cinnamon smell. Interesting. And the packaging on this is so pretty. It looks silver, but it's actually textured. I don't know if you can tell. Easy to grip and nice. It's big. It's heavy. The packaging on this has got a little bit of weight to it. It's nice. All right. Let's see how much that guy was. Um, again, that's not in here. I got a lot of things not in the brochure. Isn't that interesting? Okay, whatever. The next item in here is something in a bottle. Oh, I do think that I customized this. This is the CEO Glow by Sunday uh, Riley. It's a vitamin C and turmeric face oil. I love a face oil. I'm using the Drunk Elephant Morning Serum right now, which is a, a oil-based serum. I, I can't remember if I've had this. I've had their Truth Serum. Let me try this one. I feel like my box is going to fall over. Okay. It smells good, but it just smells like ingredients, not, not perfumed or fragrance. It's a little bit tacky after just a couple seconds. I'll let that dry down and see. It feels nice on the skin, though. It smells really nice. Okay. That guy is... Uh, not on here either. <laughs> Am I missing something? Okay, this is on here. This is the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Tonic, and it is $40. Okay, and last but not least, oh, that was the last thing. That was it. Okay, all right, so it does look like I got eight products. Unfortunately, I can't tell you the overall retail of my box because a couple of the items are just not on the list to show. I did think it was weird that I got two palettes. I'm not complaining. I actually think they're both really pretty. Um, I liked that I got the brow tint and I like that I got the lip gloss and the mascara. I thought the Patrick Ta box was a little light on makeup, so I like that they put a little bit more makeup in this one. Um, I'm real, real disappointed in this uh, pink diamond. If anybody has any tips, maybe if I take it in the warm shower, it seems to be loosening up even as I'm, as I'm sitting here. But no, I still can't. I still can't get it out. I might end up having to just cut the top. If you know the secret to this, let me know. I'm excited for the CEO serum. I thought the Dr. Brandt was great. I don't know. I did think it was a great box. This is my only like, eh, we'll have to see type of product for $135. It better make me look like a magical rainbow unicorn. 
You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, I'm actually happy with the box. I really liked it. I definitely thought it was worth the $55. Let me know what you think below and I will see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye. All right, so I couldn't let it go. I sat here and just massaged this tube. We all need a good massage every now and then, right? And I was able to get some product out. Let me just show you the key really is to white knuckle it. Look how hard I'm squeezing to get it out. I'm thinking maybe the tube is not the best packaging for this. A jar might have been better, but it is extremely thick. I'm thinking that it's really going to get off your matte lipstick or maybe your tattoo all day eyeliner. Um, so I have to let you know about that, but I, I just couldn't give up on the product because I love Rodial as a line and I just wanted to be able to use it and not throw it away. So if your hands are a little more arthritic, this is definitely not going to be for you, um, but we'll see how it performs and I'll have to let you know. All right, I'm going now for sure. See you later. Bye-bye.